Teach several laps down. The CRA Super Series pace truck pulls on the pit road. Chase Elliott using the outside lane. Green flag, we're back at it. Into the first corner, Chase Elliott goes into the lead. It's not been very many laps today where someone other than the number four of Griffin has been out front. He led until that first, that caution just moments ago and he had to make his pit stop. Scott Hansen, the 72, is up to third. Great turn in fourth. Josh Fadness in fifth. Ben Kennedy battling with Boris Shurkovic, who's got a bumper full of Ross Kennedy, who's battling with Steven Nassi. This time by working on lap 167 of the 400, the scheduled distance of the 40th running of the Winchester 400. Derek Griffin comfortably in second spot. Scott Hans has disposed of Josh Vadness. He is solidly in third, trying to reel in the number four of Griffin for second. 168 laps complete for Chase Elliott. And now he looks to have the strongest car on the raceway. A little bit of action going on at the tail end of our top five. Rick Turner holds the fifth position. Yurkovic six. Kennedy seven. moving over after going down a circuit. The lap cars are to move to the inside lane for the lead lap cars. And he was not doing so, kind of bottling up the field at points in the CRE Super Series event. Oh, Scott Hans has made a bold move out of three and four to the outside of Jason Deeds before shooting to the inside of Jay Newick to put both those on the last car. That could have been disastrous for the Angola Indiana driver. I'll tell you what's amazing is the battle for the points right now with Griffin leading by three points. He's in second with Hans second in points, just three behind. He's running third in the race. One position separates him. That's about all it's going to take to claim a championship here to stay ahead of Derek Griffin for a while. And speaking of Griffin, he's closing again on Chase Elliott as Elliott works behind Boris Jurkovic and Mason Mingus trying to put those drivers a lap down. 22 is Scott Whitehouse returned to the speedway, but he is well off the pace in a number 22 machine. In the meantime, up front, Elliott on the back bumper of Mason Mingus, but now he's got a rear, 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 rear mirror full of the four Griffin. What was that? Chase Elliott to the inside of Mason Mingus heading down the front stretch, and Mingus is now down the circuit. There was, it looked like, a little bit of contact from Chase Elliott as the lead duo works by Mingus down the back stretch into three, and now the last car on the lead lap is one of our front runners, Boris Yurkovic, car number 53. I don't think with as well as that number four car of Griffin was running earlier that they made any adjustments, but just the difference in maybe the set of tires they have not as good on this run, and Elliott is better. Chase Elliott is right behind Turner, Fisher, Kennedy, Lane, and Nassie. Four of those five cars on the lead lap, and Elliott starts to challenge, trying to put more drivers down his circuit with 241 laps complete. He has a huge gap built up on the four of Griffin, who has not closed the distance at all. Trouble in turn number two, 53 car. Boris Jerkovic has spun on his own and brings out the yellow. Caution out for the 53 of Boris Yurkovic. A spin, a solo car spin as he ran around the low side in turn number two. The 26 of Turner, the 96 of Kennedy, the 11 of Lane, and 51 of Nassie all just breathed a huge sigh of relief as Chase Elliott was right on their back bumper. Now with his caution out, they can make up all that real so these estate. drivers, a second pit stop. Let's see if Griffin can come out of the pits a little stronger this time and have a better run. He was still second, but man, Elliott was laying down some good laps. Last year's winner in the nine goes to his pit stall on its left side tires for the Aaron's number nine of Chase Elliott. Griffin going to the right side of his car. Right side tires for the seal wrap repair tape number four. Rick Turner, the left side of his great deal savings magazine car going into the air. And for Jeff Lane, same for him, left side tires an adjustment on the right rear, maybe pulling or putting in a spring rubber. Elliott gets off, and he's he's on his way. 72 of Hans is on his way. 25 Kenneth on his way. Now the four Griffin on his way. Griffin will fall back to fourth. Nasty moves up a few spots. He looks like he'll possibly get fifth. No, Vadness will move up ahead of him. Oh, off of pit road, Chase Elliott leads the field of cars that went to the pit. Scott Hans comes off second. 25 of Kenseth rolling off third. The four of Griffin rolling off in fourth. The 17. 250 complete, 150 to go, 149. Left in this race at the stripe as Hans and Elliott bring him to green. Some contact between Hans on the inside lane and Griffin on the outside as 
Hans slid up the banking a little bit and was clipped, just barely clipped, by the number four of his points contender, Derek Griffin. Illinois driver, he'll now set his sights at the top two drivers. So Griffin back up to third after falling to the tail end of the top five. Derek Griffin, the Cedar Rapids pair take number four in third. They are back half a straight away to the 72 of Hans. He is fading from the nine car of Chase Elliott. So the challenge was there for a few laps after the restart, but now Elliott's car staying strong and Hans's car fading a little bit. Back in the fifth position, the 17 of Josh Badness. The 11 of Jeff Lane is running six. 51 of Steven Massey. Shuffle back to seventh. Oh, trouble in turn number two. Rick Turner got all kinds of sideways. 96 of Ben Kennedy checks up, and he turns it around in turn number two. Kennedy would like to get his car rolling as quickly as possible and try to stay on the lead lap if he can. As Elliott's coming around, 96 is moving, so I think he will stay on the lead lap. So Kennedy will be able to go past the pace truck and stay on the lead lap. The nine of Elliott is your leader. Short green flag run that time just as Elliott was starting to build up his lead and pull away from Scott one one call before you dig Chevrolet out of Brentwood, Tennessee. To the pits. Chase Elliott again. Will he come out first of the drivers that pit? He has the first two times. Has made his way onto pit road. He goes to his pit stall. The crew starts to work. Derry Griffin in his stall. Left side tires on Griffin's car. Right side tires on Elliott's. Right side tires on the 25 of Ross Kenseth. The right side jacked up on the Ed Martin Auto Group, number 11 of Lane. Elliott stalled the number nine machine, and about Turner's going to get ahead of him. So does Griffin. Chase Elliott stalled once the jack was let down. That allowed a couple cars to get ahead of Elliott. Pretty tight quarters there, and just that little bit of a stall. And the pit stall for the number nine of Elliott helps the 26 of Turner and the number Number four of Derek Griffin to get out in front of Elliott. Scott Hans and Derek Griffin will move to turn number four. The field starts to pick up the pace a little bit. They roll into the fourth corner. The green is out. They're back underway, and Scott Hans goes out front. Griffin drops into the second spot. Steven Nassie in third. Elliott to the inside in fourth, and Kenseth fifth. When they come out of turns three and four, they'll work on click off lap 273. Scott Hand. And we got some trouble in turn two. Joe Beaver in the zero. Jay Newick in the 84 get together and caution. Again, waves with a problem in turn number two. Tough break for Newick, the 18 year old out of Cutlerville, Michigan, on the west side of the state of Michigan. As well as the number zero, the Tim's Heating Chevrolet out of Noblesville, Indiana. Joe Beaver in the zero and Beaver with some. Damage once again to that right front of that machine. Pace truck dropping to the low side of the field, racing around the truck down in three and four. Green is back out. Scott Hans, Derek Griffin, Chase Elliott, Steven Assey into turn number one. Battle for fifth between Lane and Kenseth. Rick Turner right behind them in the 26 and Josh Fadness immediately going to work. He's already back up to eighth. He started 10th at this last restart. Chase Elliott said the driver to watch is Scott Hans. He thinks he's the driver to beat. If he's going to find victory today, it's going to be the 72. But Griffin looks strong again in the seal wrap repair team. Leads lap 286. Chase Elliott all over the back bumper of the 72 of Scott Hans. Hans got away there momentarily, but now Elliott making up some real estate in the backstretch. Chase Elliott looking high and dropping low in the middle of three and four. Hans in second, but maybe not for long. The young Dawsonville, Georgia driver to the inside, signed by Hendrick Racing this past summer in a developmental deal. Moving to the k and East Series has taken over second. Chase Elliott, the runner-up. Working on lap 295. Derek Griffin, the seal wrap repair tape Toyota, continues to lead. The Aaron's dream machine, Dawsonville, Georgia's Chase Elliott riding in second spot. I like what I see from that 25 of Kenseth. He's been able to work the bottom groove. Three wide off of turn number two on the back stretch, heading to three. And Hans will check up and say, I don't want none of that. And then Turner and Badness get together in corners three and four. Caution is out. Rick Turner should be okay. So should Badness. A spin for Rick Turner and the Great Deals Coupon Magazine 26. They bunched up going into the third turn. Scott Hans was in the middle of a sandwich of cars on the back straightaway and says, you know what? I do not want to be part of this. He checked up going into three and then a couple cars behind him got together. The nine of Chase Elliott on the inside. The four of Derek Griffin on the outside. The field starts to pick it up going into turn number three. They roll to turn number four. The green is out and we are back underway. 
is just getting by Chase Elliott on that last restart. And now he's on the back bumper, the number four of Derek Griffin. The number Griffin. seven car of Jason Deitch. Deitch for the second time this afternoon up against the wall. And the Deitch trailer sails forward out of Edgerton, Ohio. Tough break for the former USA Modified Series champion. Scott but still huge if he can finish this race. We got trouble in turn four. Steven Nassi, his car badly damaged. The 51 of Steven Nassi badly damaged on the right side. Mingus in the 811. We saw those two battling, two young drivers in our field and both with well, Muncie and came across on top of us. As we are ready for green, we have a window. We should be able to make it to the finish. Derek Griffin leads the field with Kenseth on the low side. Green flag flies. We're back underway here at Winchester Speedway. And just like you said, Adam, Chase Elliott working the outside groove. Boris Yurkovic working the outside as well. And Chase Elliott, as you've mentioned this weekend, goes around the outside, around the outside, into the second spot. Following him is Kenseth Five now. Five laps to go for Derek Griffin. And we got trouble on the back stretch. The 96 car of Ben Kennedy slides up on the back straightaway and just avoids the tower on the back stretch and some folks started to move but it was going to be too late fortunately kennedy able to get it slowed down and cosh it out five lap shootout oh boy this is not this is not what Derek griffin wanted. 84 jay newick turns it around in turn number two bringing out the caution flag the tag incorporated ford out of cutlerville michigan Continuing the dramatics of the 40th running of the Winchester 400. Rick Turner unofficially running in seventh. Here goes Griffin, leads him on a turns three and four. She set her blind duck in the green flag in hand, and we are racing. Better restart for the four car of Griffin. He heads down into turn number one with the lead. Up the banking, though. Here comes Yurkovic. Yurkovic takes the top spot away. That car of Griffin, the setup fading. Chase Elliott up to fourth. Jeff Lane running third. They roll through turn number four. Lane looks to the low side. Four laps to go, and Yurkovic putting some distance between himself and Griffin. Oh, contact between Badness and Elliott. They continue on. Now Lane slips low. Here comes Elliott for third. Chase Elliott up to the third spot. His two new tires helping him pick up two positions. He needs to pick up two more. Boris Yurkovic, your leader. Derek Griffin riding second. Three laps to go. Elliott up to third. He'll challenge Griffin for second, coming out of two. Chase Elliott to the inside of Derek Griffin for the number two position. There's going to be two laps to go. Elliott to the inside of Griffin. Coming off of four. Griffin hanging on to second. But only a lap and a half on the middle of the back stretch. Oh, Lane is sideways and spins. Coming off of the corner. Oh, look out. Back up the track. Clips Kennedy. Lane turned the wrong way. Kennedy does keep it off of the wall. Ball. Could have been a very dangerous mishap coming off of turn and then Rick Turner in the 26 clips the 20, make it the 96 of Kennedy. Oh, wow. And this race is not over yet. And Chase Elliott now is involved. In Yurkovic leads him on a four. Green flags out. We are racing. Yurkovic, a great restart going into turns one and two. Elliott immediately goes to the high side. And he does drop back to the bottom, coming off of turn number two. Chase Elliott to the inside of Boris Yurkovic. The duo for the lead in turns three and four. Here comes Derek Griffin trying to make something happen. The white flag is out. One lap remaining as they dive into one and two. Yurkovic takes it to the bottom. Here comes Elliott even further to the bottom. Side by side, just to the inside of Yurkovic is Elliott Griffin for second in turn three. Elliott drives it hard into the corner, but Yurkovic off of turn number four to the checker. The winner of the 40th running of the Winchester 400, Boris Yurkovic. Second place to Derek Griffin, third to Chase Elliott, fourth to Josh Vadness. Nice round of applause for all the CRA Super Series competitors. A successful running of the 40th edition of the Winchester 400. Chase Elliott and Derek Griffin gave it all they had, but my goodness, the veteran from Joliet, Illinois, benefiting from about three Lucky Dog Awards, getting back on the lead lap, and he'll bring home the win in the 40th running of the Winchester 400. All right, okay, Mark. We'll get our post-race ceremonies all set up.